Good morning from Osh in the south of Kyrgyzstan. We arrived here yesterday after a crazy ass bus ride and we're out today ready to explore and walk around the city. So Osh is actually located in the Fergana Valley, which is a fertile valley sort of right in the heart of Central Asia, bordering Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan. It's been an area with quite a bit of conflict in the past. And yeah, we're actually only 10 kilometers from the border with Uzbekistan here, where we'll be going tomorrow. And the city itself is really multicultural. There's a big ethnic Uzbek population, as well as Kyrgyz. And it's home to some amazing food. about 3,000 years old and it was a stop on the old Silk Road. So down here in the south in the Fergana Valley, Osh is a lot more conservative and probably traditionally Kyrgyz than say Bishkek, which is a lot more modern and also <laughs> a lot more Soviet. Yeah. Oh, we learned yesterday that apparently people that live here, they can understand easy Uzbek. Yeah. They can like, communicate and speak to each other. They understand each other really well. And they said that apparently for someone that lives in Bishkek, they would struggle to do that. And there's also, here in Osh, there's like 40% Uzbek. So I think it's a majority Uzbek city, despite being in Kyrgyzstan. And that just... It's really it's no, I see. And it just goes back to like the Fergana Valley with the borders here just yeah. being so crazy. Oh, yeah. Thanks to, thanks to Uncle Joe. <laughs> But uh, yeah, there's, there's people, there's Kyrgyz living in Uzbekistan now, Tajiks living in Uzbekistan, and vice versa. The thing is, conservative or not, you've always got the artists everywhere you go. <laughs> what a masterpiece. I don't, I, you know what, I never understand like what possesses you to draw a dick. What? Why? Like, <laughs> you're oh, like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna gonna do some graffiti. Fall. I'm gonna draw a dick. <laughs> Why? So this part of Kyrgyzstan down in the Fergana Valley in the south is generally usually a lot warmer than in Bishkek but at the moment in Bishkek it's like 30 something and here is 23 today which is usually like role reversal but but it feels like bus 50 <laughs> yeah yeah definitely We just noticed the place downstairs. We're gonna go there. They sell like a local snack, and we're gonna go and try it. Thank you. Did you want some stuff? Nothing. Can I have some? Oh, 
So we're in the bazaar at the moment and there's all sorts being sold from haircuts to samsas <laughs> to lighters, books, clothes, perfume, prayer mats, anything you want. We are heading to the park now to try our samsa. When we can find a shady spot. Yep. <laughs> Bag, isn't it? It's a Crystal Palace bag. Oh my god, do you ever say it? Eagles! <laughs> do you ever say it? <laughs> you will. So, this is samsa, which is pastry that's got meat inside. You might know it as samosa, okay? But this is Central Asian, so you can find it anywhere in Central Asia, and they're also very popular in Russia. Let's try it. <gasps> so much juice! Spillage. We were told that we must try samsa in Osh. Apparently, it's the best here. It is the best samsa I've ever tried, to be honest. The pastry is really delicious on itself, and inside it's incredibly juicy, as you might have noticed. It's so fresh and it's beautifully spiced and seasoned as well. It doesn't feel like greasy or heavy. It's just delicious and very comforting at uh, what feels like plus 100 degrees. I mean, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? I can always make a t-shirt out of it as well. So, what, it's, what's today? Thursday. So by the time Saturday comes, I can swear it. <laughs> so the thing is with the Samsas here in Osh, We've heard that it's supposed to be unique to Osh that they're made in a tandoor oven. Whether that is true or not, I don't know, but that's what we've been told, so that was pa pretty Just cool. passing it on. Just passing it on. <laughs> We're passing on the potential knowledge. <laughs> Tell your friends. <laughs> oh, you know it. It's expected to be that nice. Go back and on. One dodgy thing here in Kyrgyzstan, it's in Bishkek as well, and it was in Karakul, is on every road they've got these little drains that come off the side of the pathways. So if you're not looking all the time, <laughs> you're going to fall a foot into this drain. It's just like an aqueduct. Everywhere on the streets there's aqueducts. <laughs> Fancy another sanatorium stay? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, will I get my kidney and liver function checked out? Oh, <laughs> maybe, That's if it. we stay for a week. Yeah, I'm done. We just walked down the Lenin Street to the main square and look who we run into. Another eagle. Massive Crystal Palace fans here. They're Eagles! Not, not. <laughs> what? No, they are. They are. Why, why else would there be eagles here? Because there are many eagles in the country. <laughs> no, they're Palace fans. Even though Lenin's pointing over there, 
We're going this way. <laughs> we don't follow the rules. <laughs> Слушайте, Владимир. So there's one more thing that we still haven't done here in Osh, which is climb up the Sulemantu rock, which is like the hundred and something meter hill that looks over the entire city and basically the lot like the entire city is built around. It's actually an Islamic pilgrimage site here in Central Asia because the Prophet Muhammad was supposed to have prayed on top of the rock. So yeah, it's like the, the main tourist thing to do while you're here. <laughs> We've just been putting it off because it's been a bit hot. But it's cooled down a bit now, so we're going to try and attempt it. You bang up for it? No. <laughs> So we would have usually thought of the ingenious plan of just sending the drone up to the top of this hill instead oh, of walking yeah. up there. <laughs> but we haven't brought the drone with us here, where it's actually still in Bishkek, because you can't take a drone into Uzbekistan where we're going next. So yeah, <laughs> we've got to walk up. <laughs> One thing about Osh compared to other Soviet cities is that all of the houses are actual houses as opposed to a lot of ex-Soviet cities are like high blocks of flats so the cities are very compact but this is really spread out. Actually this place is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And yeah looking over the city thinking about our onward trip into Uzbekistan from here tomorrow seems like a good place to leave this video yeah we have a lot to do as well so <laughs> we do thanks for watching see you in the next one. Oh, and by the way we know we could have gone higher up this mountain okay before someone comments that <laughs> but we're tired we've walked a lot <laughs> so we're stopping here